Travis Scott is bankrupt the house, girl. Travis Scott is financially ruined. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lex. In today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Oh my gosh, girl, we need to talk, girl, because I feel like we need to talk. You know, you already know, you come here for all the tea, all the time. Ain't no scandal I can't handle, girl. All right, so Travis Scott is in the news again. I, I cannot believe this is like my 10th Dra Travis Scott video, girl. And Kylie Jenner, oh girl, we gotta talk about that too. Go, go ahead, grab a snack, come on back, cause we gotta talk about this mess, girl. Okay, so check it out. So allegedly, the rumors on the streets, on the YouTube streets, is that Kylie Jenner was supposed to release a Christmas collection. Uh, you know, someone told me how to do a little candy cane design, or something like that, uh, for the Christmas time. And it's gotten pushed back because of the Travis Scott situation. You know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't feel right for her to drop a new makeup collection off the heels of over 10 people dying at her baby daddy's concert. Hold on, we got more seats coming in right now. Kylie Jenner, uh, it po oh! So we have the receipts. Kylie Jenner posted a sneak peek photo, which is interesting. So it's like, here we're having people saying that it's, that it's canceled, that she canceled her makeup holiday collection line, but yet we have these receipts that she posted, the swatches. So it's, it's interesting, it's like, you know what? If Kylie Jenner, uh, guys, I literally am about to lose it. If Kylie Jenner drops a makeup collection off the heels of what just happened, the scandal, some of these people have not even properly been buried yet, and you're dropping makeup, like, it, it's like back to business. Back to business for these folks. And let me tell you what, she's gonna need it, girl, with all those lawsuits, because apparently as of the time of making this video, they're facing three billion dollar lawsuit not a million the last time we reported it was i talked about over a hundred lawsuits way past that they're talking about billion dollar lawsuits and travis scott's lawyer i believe had responded i think so don't quote me on this one but i think what it was not to quote word for word allegedly my conspiracy my opinion you know allegedly is that apparently they're saying it's not right and it's a bit of a reach to put all of the three billion dollar lawsuit on travis scott that other people should be named well, like what, Apple Music, Live Nation, Drake, who else? Who else was there? I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Do I think that Travis Scott should be held accountable? Absolutely, 100%, yes, and I'm sorry, because when I say things like that, I get so many hate, so much dis dislikes in the comments, because you can't say anything negative about your queen, can't say anything negative about Kylie Jenner, can't say anything negative about uh, Travis Scott, because I, I get the death threats in the emails, you want to come for me in the house, and I'm just like, girl, I'm gonna speak my, I'm gonna use my platform and speak my my opinion, girl, okay? And apparently, thank you guys for all the comments. Thank you guys for liking this video. And I do wanna say, like, can we get this video to 5,000? No, 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 no. I would, girl, for Christmas, all I want on this video is 10,000 comments and 10,000 likes. Can we make that happen? Can we do that? We'll see. If you do that, girl, you ever see a clown cry? Oh my God, 10,000 comments, whoa. 10,000 likes, whoa. Oh my gosh, that'll be insane. Anyways, I digress. I'm just fantasizing about the dreams I could have here. But anyways, I'll have to say this, girl. The Travis Scott situation is looking very dire because Kylie Jenner, girl, if she releases this makeup collection, it's not gonna be a good look. Are people even gonna buy it? Are people gonna buy it? And you already know it's gonna be like a very coveted, you know, collection and some people are gonna buy it. Some people are gonna buy it and be like, this is the collection that was released after 10 people have died after her baby daddy's concert. This is that collection right here. And only so many of them were released and she got so much backlash. Like, like honestly, stuff like that tells a story. You know what I'm saying? Like me, when I, like, there's, there, okay, shut up, don't come for me, leave me alone. There are different types of shoppers out there. Like literally like, okay, let me show you. Like this right here. I have a story about this. You know, it has like all my, yeah, you know, it has all my little makeup in there. It was super cute. It looks like a cloud. I freaking love clouds and stuff like that. And also I got it at Target. It was like, it was gone in a minute. Like, it's like a thing, right? So I do understand people want to buy like coveted items, you know, like a cause doll or, you know, a painting or artwork or NFT or things like that. Like, I totally understand that. But some things, it's just kind of like, girl, it has like a dark undertone behind it, you know? So I don't know if Kaiser is gonna be successful with this makeup launch. I think that it'll be best in her interest not to come out with the holiday Christmas 
collection. But what do you guys think? I mean, it's in poor taste, but at the same time, she needs some money so she can pay off her baby daddy's lawsuits because you already know she's going to help out. You already know. Travis Scott is bankrupt the house, girl. Travis Scott is financially ruined at this point. In my opinion, I'm allowed to have an opinion. My opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly, because I you can't talk about your queen. I don't know. But what's he going to do? Because he can't put out new music. Like, he's literally frozen. You cannot put out new music. It's in poor taste. You cannot launch collaboration. It's in poor taste. You can't collab with other artists. No, nobody wants to work with you. And I wonder if the music industry is going to blacklist Travis Scott like they did Janet Jackson. Let us not forget like they did Janet Jackson for her wardrobe malfunction. Till this day, Janet Jackson can't get a hit to save her life. Janet Jackson can't sell a record to save her life. And meanwhile, Justin Timberlake, Scott Free Girl. I wonder if this is gonna be that situation. Will this be a situation where Travis Scott's incident somehow directly, indirectly, juxtaposed affect Kylie Jenner's makeup brand. This is a very interesting topic. And like I said, and it's sad that it has to be with everything that, that went down, but it's almost like a parasocial, uh, something just to watch. Yeah, I don't wanna say experiment. I think that's the wrong word, but from just from a standpoint of us watching, like from the parasocial part of it, it's like, what happens now? Cause there are countless people who, who still listen to Travis Scott's music. You know, when I, I looked the other day, Travis Scott's sales were up by at least 40%. And that part, partly, because I think the, a lot of people are like, well, who is this Travis Scott? And they're like, oh, okay, they hear a few songs. And they're like, okay, I get it, I get it, right? They're interested, so they, they're here, they wanna know what's going on. Let me hear the songs. Okay, can you play it backwards, any type demon music? Okay, stuff like that, you know? Travis Scott, in my opinion, is the all time most talked about right now, and it's not in a good light. And it's what sucks about it because days I heard days before this concert incident that he had opened up like a garden or gave money to some foundations and stuff like that and help people and give homes and stuff like that, whatever the case may be. And he did all this good stuff, but the minute you mess up like this, this is what you're known for. And it's so true. And it's it's media. It's like social media. Travis Scott's done a lot of good, okay. And you cannot negate that. You cannot. You can't forget that. He's he has done good. But the fact that this happened, everything, all that is just gone. He's, he's not known for his generosity and, I don't know, building gardens and, and the city and stuff like that. And he's not known for any of that, giving money, none of that. He's not known for that now. He's just known for a guy who threw a concert that got too rowdy rowdy and 10 people died with some demonic stuff behind it, girl. And like I said, and I, I have beat this topic with a dead horse. Why the theme of his concert had to do with fire and portals and his t-shirt had a demon coming out of a portal? Girl, girl, out of all the themes you could have chosen, you choose that one? You couldn't do, I don't know, a Hello Kitty theme? You couldn't do a Candyland theme? You couldn't do a Royal theme? It's just that one girl, that one girl, girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, girl, what a missed opportunity. You know, because if he would have done it that way, he would have done it that way. This whole demon stuff probably wouldn't be around. Maybe, girl, because they, they say Hello Kitty demon the house too, girl. Because uh, she apparently Hello Kitty's canceled the house too. But I digress, honey. It's just so, it's so interesting about things. Travis Scott, I think, is, is going to be bankrupt. Bankrupt the house. And Kylie Jenner is scrambling to sell. And the sisters, and the mom, and the Kardashian family, and what I heard, oh, this is what I heard. You know, I got, you know, I got connections, girl. I got people with loose lips. I heard Travis Scott is at home, miserable and depressed, has not left the house, and they're trying to get him to get over it. And what's so sad about this thing is that so when situations like this happen, when you're facing $3 billion lawsuits, multiple lawsuits, talk, you can't even get on the phone without seeing Travis Scott drama, much less the news. Him, this could really mess with his head to the point of no return. So I think the people around him are really looking after his mental health. It's so interesting, now they wanna do that because they weren't doing it at the concert. 
They weren't doing it then. They really weren't. And you got more demonology stuff popping up every day. Did you see this? And if you cross-reference this with this and this, it's like, it's a lot. Where do you go? Where, do, where does Travis Scott go from here? And like I said in my previous videos, I don't see him coming back making music anytime soon. And if he does, he's definitely going to put a nail in that coffin. He canceled the house. The only way he can come back is, I couldn't even say documentary film about the festival because that's already been done. This Travis Scott situation is going to be made into a movie. I keep saying it. Mark my words, girl. Mark my words. It's going to be something for the books. So sad. So sad how, how it had to go down. But I do think Travis Scott is financially ruined. I do think that Travis Scott is bankrupt. My opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly. How are you going to recover from a $3 billion lawsuit, girl? I don't know. That's my opinion, girl. And, it, and I think in some weird way, indirectly, directly, it affects Kylie Jenner and her business too. And if she drops a makeup line, we're going to be right here reporting the news. Let me know if y'all see it. If y'all see it, let me know on Instagram and stuff like that. Girl, I'll be posting the drama over there too on my Instagram stories. Tweet me, twat me, wherever y'all guys do. Follow me on TikTok. Get out there and find me, girl. Let me know what you think about all that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I love you so much.